up, YouTubers, and welcome to another of your view with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. Today, you're joined by my dad. Hi. Even. Uh, or his new nickname, what was it? The Yarl of Yeast. Which people <laughs> thought would be fun to call him. Now, uh, we're up here at my grandma's place for her birthday. So, uh, I brought a couple beers for me and dad to review because you guys so, like him so much. Uh, you, you seem to really like when he's on the channel, so... <laughs> I thought I'd bring some beer review with him, and this one, guys, is gonna be. An, and now, the last couple of times he's been talking about he he wants a hoppy beers. Now these are kind of fresh. We just got these in at Uconsort. It's two Moylands beers we're gonna be looking at today, and the first one is gonna be this one, the Moylands NorCal India Pale Ale. It's an American IPA on 6.5 percent alcohol, uh, dry hopped, of course. It's got a little bit of a description here about their version of the IPA, how it's. Floral, herbal, and a little bit of sweet malt, and then, I mean, it's one, we just talked about this off camera, me and dad, it's probably one of the, Moynihan's makes the ugliest labels in the world. They got like a little map for directions, for where the brewery is located, and like these tons of awards and stuff. It doesn't look <laughs> that nice, but oh well. Hopefully it'll be good. So yeah, then why don't you go ahead and if, it open? If, if the taste is better than the look, oh, hopefully then it's okay. Be. And we do use this vintage opener here. So we got the Moylands uh, Norcal IPA port. And that's <laughs> hobby. Yeah. Just smell that hobby. You can smell it from mm. here. You've been looking. That's, this is going to be perfect because it's really nice weather right now. So, But it's a nice color. This is like the glass we're using. We couldn't really get anything else here. But oh well, it works. It's a glass. Uh, but nice. What do you call it? Orange? Mm, orange. Yeah. Yeah. Orange color. Yeah. yeah. Whitehead. Well, let's check out the aroma. Oh yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty hard. nice. Yeah. That's I'm hard. getting a lot of apricots and peaches. Mm, mm. What about you? Fruits, um, the citrus fruit uh, goes through too. Yeah, for sure. Like grapefruit and yeah, yeah. sweeter notes. A little bit of pine. I do smell a little bit of a sweeter maltiness, but I'm really picking up on that apricot note and peach note. Mm. I wonder if it has Simcoe. Because usually you get that from Simcoe. <laughs> it smells really nice. It smells really refreshing mm, for this kind of weather. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, like juicy hoppy notes, the, uh, the, the kind of citrusy fruits, a little bit of pine. And it's kind of floral too. Yeah. My Want to give this a taste? <laughs> yeah, I want to give it a taste, definitely. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday, Grandma. <laughs> yeah, that's really refreshing. That mm. is... That's hobby. Yeah, that's really good for this that's weather. Hobby. It's funny, it's it's the mouthfeel is like lighter side of medium, but it has like you get it in and it feels like traditional IPA, but the aftertaste I think it's really bitter actually. Much more bitter. Yeah, it's like a really bitter grapefruit. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Really refreshing, perfect for this hot weather weather. What flavor are you picking up in? I, I pick up um, first sip. A, a, a hint of sweetness. Yeah. Then it tones into the bitterness that uh, hangs on very long for yeah. the bitter taste. For sure, the bitterness mm. hangs on for a while, sticks around. Um, and then uh, it, it has more kind of a piney, slightly resiny flavor. A lot of that bitter grapefruit, a little bit of the peachy apricot, but I think it's more the grapefruit and citrus fruits yeah. in the flavor. Definitely the, the bitterness of the grapefruit taste that mm -hmm. goes through this one. A little bit of orange notes, um, along with the piney feel, slightly kind of floral and slightly herbal as well. It's definitely not like the super juicy San Diego IPAs, but it has some of that, along with this kind of pine. But I guess that's why they also call it NorCal, Northern California style IPA. But it's really nice, it's really refreshing, perfect for this kind of weather. Mm. Uh, and we also have the Moylander double IPA to review for you guys, which should hopefully be quite nice too. And actually, we also got the Kilt Lifter, is that what it's called? No, Hopsicle at the store, which I had, which was really nice compared to when I had it in the States, because this is actually fresher. But I think it's a really nice double IPA, or a single IPA, it's really nice, really refreshing. Not the best I've had, but rating-wise, I'm gonna go 86. I think it's really nice, really refreshing, uh, but I prefer when they're more juicy. But what about you? <clears throat> I'm uh, in the late 70s. It's, yeah. it's really good. Uh, I, I like bit the bitterness of the beer. Yeah. Uh, so so this is definitely one of my favorites. But uh, the mouthful. Yeah, the mouthful is, is very really thin. It's really thin. Uh, the the bitterness is good, but the mouthful yeah. ain't that. Uh, like heavy and stuff. Yeah. No. But that should be turned around with the double IPA. Mm. So yeah, guys. 
Definitely let us know what you think of the Moreland NorCal IPA if you've had it. Uh, thanks to Dave for joining in on this one. <laughs> Thank you for having me. No problem, <laughs> guys. And uh, yeah, look for the review of the, the Moreland Moreland or Double IPA. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in the beer view.